Today was an early start. I've been, I'm in Newquay currently, Newquay, Cornwall, lovely place. I've been here though, you know, for, I've been here for about half an hour already, trying to find someone, just driving around, trying to find someone on site. I've only just found someone. <laughs> but today was an early start, I came in at five, because it is a two hour drive from our yard, so. And it's currently eight o'clock, so. Anyway, how the devil are we? Hope everyone's all right. My name is James, if you are new around here, please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Today is very different. Normally you see me doing deliveries, today is not that case. Today, I'm doing a collection, uh, a collection in Newquay, and it's for a load of tube that we hired out for people to stick in the ground and put lighting on it. Um, so, yeah, today's very different. Apparently someone's coming to get me now. I'm not sure how long they're gonna be. <laughs> I'm sort of blocking the the uh, the way for a, uh, a one-way system, but, you know, they'll come to me quicker if I stay here. But today is, yeah, it's an odd day. Very different to what I normally do, so. It's gonna be a lot of collections out of here. There's about 89 ton worth of stuff coming out. So if you're interested, stick around and hopefully we can crack on and just like get on with it. <laughs> right, we are rocking and we are rolling. Just a forklift driver's just come and met me and he's now taking me to where I need to be. Very confusing old place this, I'll tell you that. Very, very, very confusing, but look at it. The views, the views are amazing. Lovely jubbly. Right, hopefully, hopefully this is a simple, simple thing. <laughs> we'll see. Right, there is stuff ready. So we're gonna start loading up now. And uh, get these bearers out and then we're good to go. Well, we're good to start anyway. So I've got two packs on here. So there's seven of these which have been unused. I'm going to grab all seven of them because it makes my life easier if they're in packs. And then there's three packs over there, but they're flat packed ones. And I'm going to grab three of them. So that is that will take me up to pretty much absolute maximum weight so that is ideal because it's a nice simple load oh. look at the view though lovely it's absolutely lovely yeah definitely one of my favorite places i've been definitely there we go that is my load. I'm done. That is 15.8 ton. Pretty much as much as I can take. So I've got seven packs of 21 foot tubes there, 61 packs, and I've got three 50 packs up there. And yeah, it's a good old full load. So we're going to get strapping. I've got two straps on the bottom five, three straps on those two plus the two packs the other side and then i'm going to put three straps over the top to proper hold it all down and then to go with it i'm going to put my side posts in afterwards just just in case anything does slip which it probably won't but if it does slip then there's side posts for some protection in a sense <laughs> but yeah here we go ready to go guys so we've got one two three four five six and seven seven five ton straps so that should be plenty but yeah we've got all of our side posts in now and now all we got to do is uh drive two hours back to the yard 
up the paperwork. So that's all good. We're just having a 15 minute break and then we're good to set off. Two hours to drive back and if we were to leave, well, when we leave in 15 minutes, we should, in theory, get back to the yard. It's currently 9.53. I'll be off break about five past 10. And then that means we should get back at, yeah, about 12 o'clock, so not too bad. The main reason I actually started early today was because I thought originally, the, the original plan was for me to do two runs down here. That would have been about eight hours driving, which is enough time to do in one day. Um, it is Friday today, so it was going to be pushing it, but I reckon we would have been all right. We would have still had about two hours spare driving time left. But the guys here, they've really only just started packing it up all because it's all higher stuff. So they've hired it off of us and then they've now got to pack it up neatly for us to take, you know, for it to be safely transported back to the yard. But I've picked up a full load. I'm, I'm absolutely maxed out on weight. My boss is now coming down. He's gonna be about he's gonna be here in about two hours or so. But the guys are only just about gonna have another full load ready by the time my boss gets here. So um, I wouldn't be able to come down and pick up another load because there's nothing there's not gonna be enough ready for another load. So but oh all, all is good. Anyway, gonna gonna have finish my 15 minute break and then head back to the yard. <clears throat> and we are on our merry way. Look how gorgeous this place is. Nuki is so... I came here once when I was little on holiday with my mum and my brothers and that. I didn't come here. I went to a caravan site in the, like, the centre of Nuki. This is sort of on the outskirts by the beach. But, oh my god, it's just gorgeous. Like This is what makes being a lorry driver 100% worth it. Because you get just gorgeous places like this. And it really is just such a nice drive. But it's been a really good day. Sun's out, the sky is blue. Lovely jubbly. And I just want to send a happy birthday to Paul. Uh, a guy I speak to on Instagram. He likes watching my videos and stuff. And we've had a good chat and stuff. And it's just in the, in the middle of doing his, uh, trying to get his theory done for his HUV. And um, yeah, it's his birthday. I think it. I think he said Tuesday or Wednesday is his birthday. But no, yeah, the, August twenty second. Um, and he said he's got his theory test for his HEV on that day as well. So good luck, Paul. I hope you. I hope you bloody pass. And yeah, and I hope you get it done, mate. But happy birthday, mate. And I hope this was what you expected. <laughs> Oh, look at the beach in front of us. It's so nice. Look at it. Absolutely just gorgeous. Really, really nice, but it's so steep, so you've got to really use your brakes. I'm going to stick number three of my brakes on. Ooh, lovely jubbly. Got beach on the right. Nice, nice views straight ahead. Oh, it's lovely. Everyone's coming out with their surfboards. Look at that dude. Yeah, surfer dude. What a legend. So yeah, just driving through Nuki now. So like I said, oh, what are you doing, mate? Get over. You do not need that much space. Now we've got a nice big hill climb here. Ooh, how's it gonna do? It's in automatic mode at the minute. Come on, baby, let's get up this hill. Come on, I know you can do it. There you go, there's the, there's the 450 power. Lovely jubbly. Right, we're gonna crack on, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the views, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Okay, so there's a lay-by about half a mile down here. So we're gonna nip into this lay-by. We've been on the A30 now for about 10 miles or so. So we're going to nip into this lay-by, get out, check our straps, just so that I'm, I know I'm happy for the rest of the journey then. I'm not happy if I don't know what my straps are like. Ooh, come on. Slow down, truck. Slow down. Alright, so we'll just nip into this lay-by, just behind this car. Ideal, we've got room to get out. 
boxes, all right? All right. By the looks of it, it looks all okay. It's just a tad loose, so I can tighten it up. A couple more clicks, and then I'm happy then. That one as well. Good old bit of traffic, good a bit of old fashioned traffic. Oh god. I was hoping to get back to the yard before having to take my half an hour, but there is absolutely zero chance of me doing that now. Some nice cars down here though. Um yeah, I, I was hoping I was hoping to clear clear all of it sort of and get back to the yard before I haven't done my break, but is what it is it's friday after all but it's not foot down friday at the minute i'll tell you that now we're still a good hour and 15 minutes away from the yard <laughs> and we've got an hour and 16 minutes driving time left so um yeah we're just gonna pull over in a lay by soon and probably gonna try and max the driving out just because i want to get the majority of the a30 done so I want to get off this road. This road is horrendous on Fridays and it always is, always has been and always will be. So um yeah, there's just there's no chance of making it back in time. But that's not that's not too bad. I should still make it back to the yard for just after one o'clock, so it's not the worst thing in the world. There was a slight hope for a second that we were gonna make it back to the yard and then I hit traffic again. <laughs> so driving slowly means I'm on I'm driving for longer, which adds up the time on the tacker, blah 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 blah. And that's basically script. But it's been really bad. It's like it's been so slow. And now we're going for like I'm doing 45. And then it's probably gonna like stop again. Why? Why are there so many cars on the road already? Uh, yeah, I think we've already passed the point now where we're gonna make it back to the yard. So I think we're gonna if we were to drive like straight to the yard I reckon we'll get back in like four hours 35 minutes driving But obviously that's illegal. So we're not gonna do that <laughs> So yeah traffic is pretty bad and I can see well ahead. It's bloody awful So we're on four hours eight minutes driving at the minute and we're gonna probably pull over at the end of the a30 and have our break just cuz I can't really risk it. Um, so that's that's the plan. That's the plan. I'm hoping I get off the A30, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, it's just like this, just all the time. It's quite irritating, really. So we have pulled over for a break. We're on four hours, 28 minutes driving. And we're about, I don't know, 15 minutes from the yard. So we did lose a bit of time today, but that was just because of slow moving traffic. But it is what it is. We'll get back in one piece, that's the main thing. And luckily, traffic on my side of the road isn't too bad, so yeah. So we're just gonna sit here, have our break, and uh, crack on. And just like that, I'm on my way home. <laughs> Uh, literally got back to the yard uh, at set time and uh, it was just fucking crazy um, yeah crazy in the yard getting everything ready for Monday Monday I'm going back to the same place I'm looking forward to that looking forward to some uh, nice some some more views some more views of the beach and the sea and the hills uh, so that'll be good uh, but yeah, I don't really know how long this video is going to be to be honest because I don't feel like I've recorded that much But I'm gonna upload it anyway because it is a bit different to what I have been uploading recently So if you did enjoy, please make sure you go and um, like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it Make sure you go and check out my TikTok and my Instagram account. I'd really appreciate that too uh, But thanks very much for watching guys
I'll catch you in the next vlog, shall we, for now. Eh?